Hey everyone, thank you for watching Infinite Realms today. We're going to do an unboxing. That's something we've never not done on the, the channel before. And with me, my special guest, my wife, Stacy. Hello. All right. So this is, of course, Action Force Desert Rat. And I love this packaging. It's like one of the few figures I've ever thought about keeping in a package, mostly because it is so indicative of Action Force which was not exactly G.I. Joe in Europe, but they came out about the same time. And then ultimately the Palatoy company uh, folded, was folded under Hasbro. Uh, the interesting th part is the Palatoy company actually took molds from Hasbro and repainted them to go into their uh, Action Force line. If you've ever watched uh, Analog Toys that Tony Roberts hosts, he goes into a lot of detail on this. It's really fascinating if you're a G.I. Joe fan, so you should probably give it a look. But today we're going to actually unbox Tony himself, who's trapped in plastic and can't breathe. We should let him out. All right, so... Yeah, no fancy knife. I just got the basic scissors. I almost don't want to free him, but you know, because I love that box. I just really, really love that box. Okay, here we are. To me, this should be standard. Battle stands with every figure. Just should always happen. I want to see the back of the box. Okay. Oh, there's the file card for Desert Rat. Nice box. Okay. And I do love how it's indicative of the packaging from Palatoy back in those days. And again, I do like this extra layer of protection so that you don't, your figure is not damaged. We're both trying to pick it up at the same time, sorry. <laughs> and there, of course, is Desert Rat, who just lost a hand somewhere down in the ether. Okay, let me look for it. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll free Desert Rat from his plastic prison. I have the hand. <laughs> Ah, that's the cupping hand. Now, of course, as with all Action Force figures, you get plenty of hands. This is the cupping hand, which is a good support hand for a gun. There is, of course, fists. Oops. There's, of course, fists. There's gripping hands, and there are trigger hands. Now, I generally go with the trigger hands just because those uh, just seem to work well. Now, let me just free up his gun and his backpack. all the plastic rendering rending back in the background because I can't do this around the camera sorry okay now we've got his weapons and his backpack okay so of course here's desert rat and I'm gonna just say I really like the design of the figure. I mean, obviously, a desert camo type, de desert out. Boy, I can't talk today. A desert outfit, obviously. That's what I was trying to say. And a very nice knife. And I do like these little details. Try to get. Can we get? I just hit the camera. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, you can tell it's the first time I've ever done this? Okay. I um, like the details on the uh, patches here. Of course, the Union Jack, which really pops. And then I believe that is the uh, symbol for the uh, unit that he was assigned to in uh, the last tour of Desert Storm, if I remember correctly. Put the knife back. Again, sorry.
Okay, and this is his M4. I really like this gun. I, I just think this is a really impressive gun. I am not a huge gun guy, but as far as toys go, I think the M4 is one of my absolute favorites of a toy gun, uh, for toy guns for action figures. I don't have any real reason for that other than I just like them. And of course, we have a gun, a pistol. I have no idea what kind of pistol that is. Somebody told me at some point, and I forgot. As you can see here, there is the walkie-talkie on the back. It comes around front to the front there. Again, I just, there's a lot I really enjoy about this figure. Can we put the backpack on? Yeah. Again, sorry, I gotta get behind the camera. The, Get it behind the camera. Now, this is a criticism. Does he stand up with the backpack on? <laughs> Mostly. If he was on the stand, though, he would, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Come on, Tony, you can do it. There we go. All right, so this is a criticism I've heard about this specific figure, and it's, oh, has to do with how the backpack sits on the back. Uh... <laughs> What's funny is, I saw um, Tony Roberts himself talking about this, and he said, that's the way we did it. And it is cumbersome, and it is annoying, and it doesn't look practical, but that's how we did it. I mean, it's his action figure. I guess he can talk about how it's packed the way he wants to. Okay, so let's see him holding a gun. Okay. All right, then there we have Desert Rat with his M4. And I just think it looks really good. I really like that gun. I, I just, um, you know, I like that the darker brown colors and then the silver um, silver magazine. I just think that re is really nice and pops really well. Another uh, good thing about this is um, the tattoo here. Um, that's really intricate. And uh, that's actually his tattoo. I mean, um I do believe most toy companies will just give them long sleeves and been done with it. I'm sure. That's really cool. So let's do some posing with him, and we'll probably need the battle stand for this. Okay, and there we go. Just trying to go for like a recon pose where they hold the fist up, trying to indicate, you know, weight kind of thing. Just a simple but kind of effective pose. Okay, another great feature is... I can get them. I always have a little trouble with these because they're really embedded in there until you get them out. There we go. Of course, the magazines are removable mm. from the pouches, and they fit very snugly in there. Is so the that, one in the gun removable? Yes. Nice. And it fits very well. It. it you know, that's the other thing. I have a big problem with G.I. Joe classified figures. Um, they are, their magazines keep falling out of their guns. Right. I then... don't have that problem with Action Force ever. I've not had that happen to me once. So, you know, just, just pointing out the differences of the two toy companies. Okay, so one thing my wife keeps ask, asking is with these Action Forces, why are there so many hands? And hopefully this kind of shows why their hands because you know you have that for a support hand that you can hold the gun with mm -hmm. uh that's a, that's also a real good hand for like if you're doing an action shot and you're grabbing somebody from behind uh that that, that works really good for that as well that cupping hand oh right yeah now <clears throat> i will say one thing i've uh observed i think the trigger hands work well as gripping hands too for the knives so i think you could probably take those gripping hands out and give us another option with the hands. I don't know what, but, you know, I think it could work. Hmm. And, of course, the other thing that the cupping hand is good for is holding the bagel bites. He's got the bagel bites. He does have the bagel bites. I do want to point out, too, this, uh, neck, this, uh, neckerchief scarf. I don't know what you actually call that. There's a name for it. Uh, but I really like that. They tried to do that on Stalker on the G.I. Joe Classified line. It looked like 
shit. <laughs> I mean, I, there's no other way to say it. It looked like shit. It looked like grandma's old, uh, you know, dirty old comforter that, you know, sat on her couch and never got washed. That's what it looked like. This at least looks practical and looks like something rather than grandma's dirty old afghan. Your grandma sounds wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wasn't well, my grandma, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's a uh, pretty much an overview of uh, Desert Rat. Um, the only knock I would give it, I, I wouldn't even give it really a knock, is that he does have a hard time standing up with the backpack on, if you know, so I did take the backpack off, just to ease, uh, transitioning between shots. So, I will still give him five stars, I just think it's an excellent figure. I love the detailing on the M4, I love the detailing on the vest, and just about everything else about this figure. I agree. I, I, it looks it's very sturdy, very well made. Um, a lot of attention to detail on this. Just so many accessories and movable parts and everything. It's 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 a really good looking figure. Um, I also like you know, and that, this is something I never bring up. Uh, but of course, you know, we you t we talk. I talk about Marvel Legends all the time. Those are superheroes in spandex and tight. Outfits so that the, the, they don't have any wrinkles on their uh, clothing, and I, this has tons of detail in it's, the yeah, wrinkles. You can count every wrinkle. It's, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it is. And he holds bagel bites well. You cannot forget the bagel bites. Yeah, holds bagel bites well. So <clears throat> I can't stand it up on its own. Sorry. Uh, anyway. Uh, five stars, excellent figure. If you have not checked out Action Force, again, like I say, every Action Force review, really, go check it out. You'll be very surprised, like I was, and my daughter was. <laughs> okay, like I say, go check out Action Force. It's really good. It's really fun. And these are excellent figures. And uh, you, you deserve to check them out. So go and do that. All right. That's going to wrap it up for Infinite Realms. Like, the first time we've ever done one of these, so we'll see how it goes. And if it's total crap, we won't ever do it again. That's right. All right. You have a good day, people.